May 1st, Saints Philip and James, Apostles. St. Philip the Apostle came from Bethesia in Galilee and seems to have belonged to a little group of earnest men who had already fallen under the influence of St. John the Baptist. St. John's Gospel introduces his name several times, recording in particular that the call of Philip came the day after that given to St. Peter and St. Andrew. Jesus, we are told, found Philip and said to him, follow me saint clement of alexandria avers that saint philip was the young man who when our lord said to him follow me begged to leave to go home first and bury his father which occasioned the reply let the dead bury their dead but go thou and preach the kingdom of god from the account given by the evangelist we should naturally infer that philip responded without hesitation to the call he had received though his knowledge was imperfect so much so that he describes jesus as quote, the son of joseph of nazareth he goes at once to find his friend nathaniel and tells him we have found him of whom moses in the law and the prophets did write philip gives proof of a sober discretion in his missionary zeal he does not attempt to force his discovery upon unwilling ears when nathaniel objects saying can anything good come from nazareth his answer is not indignant and not a declamation but an appeal for personal inquiry come and see he says finally another glimpse is afforded us of the apostle's earnestness and devotion co-joined with defective spiritual insight when on the evening before the passion our lord announced no man cometh to the father but by me if you had known me you would without doubt have known my father also and from henceforth you shall know him and you have seen him philip said to him lord show us the father and it is enough for us and jesus saith to him have i been so long a time with you and have you not known me philip he that seeth me seeth the father also how sayest thou show us the father it is stated that the remains of st philip the apostle were eventually brought to rome and that they have been preserved there in the basilica of the apostles since the time of pope pelagius around the time of five sixty one st james the less the author of an inspired epistle was also one of the twelve we learn from st paul that he was favored with a special appearance of our lord between his resurrection and ascension further when st paul three years after his conversion went up to jerusalem and was still regarded with some suspicion by the apostles who remained there james with peter seems to have bid him a cordial welcome on the dispersion of the apostles among the nations st james was left as bishop of jerusalem and even the jews held in such high veneration his purity mortification and prayer that they named him the just they say that he was holy from his mother's womb drank no wine nor strong drink nor ate anything in which was life no razor came upon his head he anointed himself not with oil and used no bath to him alone it was permitted to enter the holy place for he wore nothing woolen but only linen garments the priestly robes and in the sanctuary he was always found on his knees asking forgiveness on behalf of the people so that his knees became hard like a camel's for he was continually bending the knee in worship to god and asking forgiveness for the people such as it was many came to believe in jesus through james however there was an uproar among the jews and the scribes and the pharisees for they said there is danger that the whole people should accept jesus as christ coming together therefore they said to james we beseech thee restrain the people for they are going astray unto jesus imagining that he is the christ so they asked him to stand upon the pinnacle of the temple so that he could easily be heard by all the people and they carried him and put him on the pinnacle and they said o just one in whom we ought all to put all our trust inasmuch as the people is gone astray after jesus who is crucified tell us what is the door of jesus and he replied with a loud voice why ask ye me concerning the son of man since he sitteth in heaven on the right hand 
hand of the mighty power and shall come on the clouds of heaven and many were fully persuaded by this and gave glory at the testimony of james saying hosanna to the son of david then once more did the scribes and pharisees say amongst themselves we do ill in affording such a testimony to jesus let us rather go up and cast him down that being afraid they may not believe him and they cried aloud saying oh even the just one has gone astray and they fulfilled the scripture that is written in isaiah let us take away the just one for he is troublesome to us therefore they shall eat the fruit of their doings going up therefore they cast down the just one and they said to each other let us stone james the just they stoned him and buried him at the spot beside the temple and his monument still remains there the church commemorates on the same day saints philip and james whose bodies lie side by side at rome they represent to us two aspects of christian holiness the first preaches faith the second works one holy aspirations the other purity of heart